Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Hello, dear friends. Good uh, morning. Such a, a beautiful, beautiful morning. I just came back from swimming. So, um, a good hot shower. And now I will do a makeup and uh, just a blah 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 some random things. So um, I read uh, comments from uh, my video, your comments, and uh, some I do not reply with writing because. Uh, I am just not very quick at uh, typing things and also typing things take uh, a lot of time and uh, it is good but if we have uh, too many things in life we need to prioritize right not to not to say that I disregard anyone or who I am who am I? Do I say that? Um, just random blah blah blah, so that uh, so that uh, so that I am not pressured. So first regarding the comments we say you, you, you make. I get uh, quite inspired by, by your comments. The first thing, confidence in makeup. We have, uh, one friend said, we have uh, a common concept that uh, if you do makeup, you are not confident. No. We are confident that we can do whatever we like. We want to do makeup, we do makeup. We do not want to do makeup, we do not do makeup. Whatever we like, we just do the things we like. And we are not uh, bothered or framed by the societal standard, which means you have to make up to make you pretty, to make you look good. If you do makeup, you are not confident because you want to hide yourself. No, nothing about it. It makes me happy and then I'm doing it. No one say anything will change how I live, how I want to live. Do I make any sense? If any of us want to do makeup, by all means, do our makeup. If any of us do not want makeup, by all means, do not do makeup because you are comfortable with whichever kind of skin you are. You are comfortable to be yourself. I think this is empowering. Let's call it an morning affirmation. Makeup? Yes, why not? Okay, so this couple of days I need to do some shopping and um, I will not tell you the reason, okay? So I went to big expensive stores, not the most expensive. Oh my, it feels good to go to pretty shops, to go to high-end shopping centers. So when I was uh, uh, buying things there, I just thought of myself, life is so different for different level of 
income for different level of confidence. It is good to have money to buy things. You feel good. You feel that rush of adrenaline or something. Serotonin, adrenaline? I do not know. You feel the rush of happiness. Do not hide it. It is truth. If you have money, you go to big, big expensive store to buy the most beautiful things and served by the people who take you serious. Of course, nobody will have trouble with that, right? But uh, on the other hand, we actually can enjoy our life at any level. I remember this time I went to San Diego and um, I forgot to bring my uh, foundation, this one. It's almost used up. I was thinking, travel with this and finish it and done with it. But I forgot it. So I went to Target to buy one. Went to San Diego Target, big one. and. Um, there was one uh, foundation that cost uh, a first, as every time. When I buy something, price matters for me, big time. So, I choose the price in the lower end and eventually I end up with three foundations. I will not mention the brand. If you are Target shopper, Walmart shopper, you know that there is one cost $3.99, there is one cost $5.6.99 or $5.99, and there is one cost $3.00. So I was standing there, spent half an hour or something of my quality time debating on the marginal utility. I do not even know the meaning of the word. And the opportunity cost. <laughs> anyway, I was standing there and in front of it. Compare this, 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 and <laughs> spend half an hour in front of a, a live or die decision. Shall I buy three ninety nine? Shall I buy three dollar? Shall I buy six ninety nine? I choose the color and everything and the shape. And finally, I decided on this. Three dollar, the cheapest. And it works not bad at all, quite good. So it brings me to a conclusion. Go to big high brand shop, gives me happy. Go to buy inexpensive things and spend some time contemplating in front of a, in front of beautiful products also gives me happiness so at each level our difference is not the degree of happiness our difference is the comfortness in the value in the price tag. Our difference is only a different price tag, but the true value out of that price tag is not much different. Do I make any sense? I am thinking, for me, my level is at $3. 
is at three to five dollar to eight dollar let's say and this is a, this is a true my happiness for for this kind of product is at three to eight dollar and anything within it I am happy with it for some people who have spent two hundred dollars three hundred dollars fifty dollars it's their different price range they may not find the same happiness if they go too low they may not have happiness if it goes too high everyone has a range of comfortness do i make any sense so i am thinking this is quite an extreme because there, at this country, it's kind of hard to find something lower than $3. But if you go to another country, or if you go to another kind of shop, there is also $1 of, uh, of uh, makeup foundation. And uh, you might be at that range. But still you find true happiness. And the happiness is disregard of the price tag. The happiness is the time you spend. You give yourself the luxury of wasting time, of contemplation. That is Do I make myself understood? I am listening to uh, Yuval Hirali. His, his audiobook, 20, 21 Lessons for the 21st Century, or something. So, 20 important lessons. And um, uh, in one of it, he was talking about waste time. The truth sometimes is not in the center of the matter. It's at the periphery of that matter. Let's Let's put it more concrete. It sounds a little bit artificial and it sounds a little bit hard to understand, to, 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 to explain. The happiness is not in this three dollar uh, makeup foundation. It's not in that. The happiness is you think the time you spend on thinking about much more than just this three dollar thinking about your happiness can be so easily obtained through spending three dollar that moment I am in the middle of a big, huge store target. All belong to me because I am a customer. All belong to me. I can choose anything if I want. That feeling, so beautiful, beautiful products and, uh, and a lot of room. It's, And you are not pressured into anything. Nobody beside you to force you to buy an expensive one, to buy a cheap one. No time frame. It was evening. Target closed at 10 o'clock. And I was there at, uh, at 9 o'clock something. 
I am not in a pressure and uh, I was traveling, I drive around, I do not want to go back home, uh, go back to hotel early and uh, I have my time. It's, it's the freedom, it's that feeling and it's so good. <laughs> do I explain it when you escape your your everyday stress oh when you escape your everyday everyday stress you go to a, a shopping mall or you go to some place to spend some time do not need to take care of your kids do not need to do homework do not need to write lesson plan do not uh, need to pick up phone what a pleasure. And uh, another thing. So I think our life now with technology becoming more and more um, everywhere, so deep into us, we can live a life so comfortable. I am very positive. I am a positive person. I am very grateful for living this life. There are so many funny things and fun things disponible, available there. You can go to YouTube to, to see the comedy show. You can see on, on YouTube the most admired men, the most beautiful woman fighting in front of her. I do not need to go down. You can, you can see people spending $44 billion to buy a bird. Something, yes. You can see all these comedy shows, ridiculous comedy shows, and people are taking it serious. <laughs> and it's, it's not a joke for some people. Anyway, and uh, but you have the freedom not to be bothered. Take it only as a live comedy show. There are hundreds, thousands of emails coming to you, and you have the right not to reply. So what? At least I do not reply email. I do not spend much time on email and on those things. Maybe because I'm a teacher, I am lucky on, on that. And I am not a classroom teacher. If I am a classroom teacher, it will be a different kind of pressure. But I am just very lucky. I am lucky. Anyway. Oh, sorry. Oh, I am very sorry. Do I make any sense? That's about what I thought about. Another thing I am thinking about to randomly thought about those things. I thought about uh, that crazy hair day and the pyjama day and the mixing sock day, mixing socks day. It makes me happy to be silly, to be a little bit different. So maybe we, as our YouTube family, we can do something like it. A particular day, we do blue day, we do pink day. Maybe we are not so courageous to do a, a crazy hair day. The crazy hair, I go, to, uh, I go to shop, I go to Costco, I take out that hair because uh, I do not have the courage to be so different outside my school 
that 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 is a that is a same framed place, and um, so we can do at least we can do something short day, something like a, a, a long day. Wear the long jacket, long skirt, maxi dress, or a short day, short shorts. <laughs> or a uh, mini skirt or up to up to here those uh, up to here and showing a little bit of belly button <laughs> uh, clothes or a particular color pink day a purple day and uh, I do not have a favorite color but um, we can, if you have a, 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 a favorite color or you most disgust, disgusted color, maybe we can do that special color day. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you so, so, so very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Bye, bye, friends. Maybe I will title this video The Immense Happiness Out of Three Dollar That Three Dollar Can Buy <laughs> The Immense Happiness That Three Dollar Can Buy How Much Happiness three dollars